Hi lets you build features that connect Smart Suite to your other apps. I'm going to show you how I built a feature in my Smart Suite CRM that lets me send emails through Gmail. You can add this feature to records in any application that has an email field like this, though I've added it to an application that's based on Smart Suite CRM template. Here's how it works. When I open any record in this application, I see this button in the top right corner. And clicking on it pulls up an interface with a to field that's filled with the value from the email field in that same record. I can add a CC recipient and add a subject. And I can edit a body that's automatically filled with the name of that contact in the CRM. And when I click send, an email gets sent from my Gmail workspace account to that recipient. So I've just sent an email to myself. And here it is. Now I'm going to show you how to add this feature to records in an application in Smart Suite. Open any record from the relevant application, then click on Plus Chrome extension, and then click on Create New Module. Then choose the context for your module, which is the part of Smart Suite that you're adding a feature to. And we currently only support adding features to records, so that's what I'll choose. Next, connect your Smart Suite account. And these are your credentials, which get saved after the first time that you connect them. And then choose a record to use as a sample while you set up what your feature does. And the default choice is to use the record from the page you're currently in, but you can change that if you want. Now we design what the button that triggers our feature looks like. And there are a lot of options here. I gave mine an icon that I found by searching for send, and I made it white. Under advanced, you can give your button a tooltip that'll appear when you hover over it. But for now, we'll just click save and open flow editor. Here in the flow editor, I set up my features workflow, which is a series of steps that happen one after another whenever I click on my features button. And steps in Ply come in three types. There are interface steps that show you an interface right in the app that you've added a feature to, integration steps that perform actions in the apps that Ply integrates with, and helper steps that manipulate data or the flow in some way. The first step in our email feature is an interface step, specifically a modal interface. Modal interfaces are completely customizable with blocks. Each block is designed for a different kind of user interaction. And the first block we're adding to ours is a text input. I'm going to label this text input 2 over here on the right. And I want this field to automatically be filled with the email from the email field where I clicked on the button. To do that, I'm going to turn on the prefill switch. And clicking into this field that appears under prefill pulls up Ply's data mapper. The data mapper lets you map data from previous steps into the current step. Now, I want to map the data from the email field from the context or the record where I clicked on the button into this uh, to field. So to do that, I'm going to click on step number two, get contextual data, and look for the email field. Here it is. Now, this email field in Smart Suite actually allows multiple emails. So uh, this is reflected in Ply by the fact that this is a table or a collection of items. So I'm going to click into value here and choose to use the first email. So whenever I click on this button, the to field is going to have the first email from the email field in Smart Suite. Now I'm going to add another text input field, this time called CC, where I'll be able to type um, email addresses for CC recipients. Now I'm going to add one more simple text input field called subject. And finally, a rich text input field. This is a text input field that lets me format the text that I write into it. And I'm going to call this one body. Um, I'm going to make this text input field a long text input field, since I'll probably be writing longer messages in here. And I'm also going to pre-fill this field with a bit of data. I want this field to always start off with the text hi and the name from the record where I clicked on the button. So again, I'm going into the contextual data, and this time pre-filling the data from the name field. And I'll add a few line breaks and write regards and my own name. So in this case, my sample data is myself. Finally, I'm going to put some finishing touches on the interface, like getting rid of this large title and changing the text on this Done button by clicking on it and writing in here, Send. Now, every step that you add to a workflow, including an interface step, needs to be run once to produce sample data. So to do that, I'm clicking on this blue button down here, Run to Create Sample Data, and filling in all of the fields in this interface. So I'm adding uh, a CC recipient and uh, a subject and editing this pre-filled body. 
and then hitting send to submit this step and getting these results as sample. Now, this data is available in the workflow, but it hasn't been sent to anywhere yet. So to actually send an email, I'm gonna add one more step to the workflow, this time an integration step in um, Gmail workspace. I'm gonna add the action send an email, and I'm gonna use all the details from the previous interface step to set up where the email gets sent and what it says. So I'm connecting my account using credentials I've already saved. And now I'm gonna again use the data mapper to map the data from the interface step into this current step. So uh, for the two or the recipient, I'm clicking on the interface step and inserting the data that I typed into the two field there. Same for CC, I want this data to come from the interface. Uh, from here, I'm going to include my own email address. Subject um, will come from the interface and the message body will also come from the interface. So uh, the message body is going to be rich text or formatted text. So when I click on it, I'm going to choose to keep HTML format or keep the formatting in the email that gets sent as I formatted it in the interface, okay? Now, when I click test and continue, this is actually going to send an email to my inbox. And when I click publish, this feature will get added to all of the records in this SmartSuite application with the functionality that I just set up. 